Welcome to the first video of the series on discussing a Megamon for Kicks service level analysis feature. In today's video, I will give you a short introduction into a Megamon SLA using Enhanced Fat8070 user interface. If you are not using a Megamon service level analysis feature yet, you should start to use it, as it could bring numerous benefits. Firstly, SLA provides easy way to define performance expectations ensuring that your Kix region's performance aligns with your business requirement. By establishing specific performance goals, SLA enables you to measure and monitor the actual performance of your Kix region against these targets. This monitoring capability facilitates proactive management, allowing you to identify and address performance issues promptly, before they impact users or breach your business SLA targets. SLA monitoring also aids in the root cause analysis, enabling you to pinpoint underlying factors causing system deviations from defined performance targets. Additionally, SLA data collected over time assists in capacity planning, helping you accurately assess resource needs, optimize system scalability, and make informed decisions regarding your infrastructure enhancements. To see service level analysis screen, Position the cursor next to a Kixplex name. Enter P and press Enter. Then press R and hit Enter again. You are now seeing response time data and transaction service times. This information shows counts of transactions executed and average response times. Also, if you shift the display, you will be able to see percentage wait times for variety of wait reasons, including CPU, databases, and file weights. Now position the cursor by the service class name and press Enter. You are now looking at the service class detail display. Here you can see which transactions are now executing as a part of the service class and which Kix regions serves the service class. From here, you can type H to look into historical data which will help you to identify when performance degradation started to appear. As well, you can simply select your transaction or Kix region and look into more detailed information about its performance based on the service class. Detail view have lots of useful information, such as standard deviation within collection interval. Also, you can find here performance goal type. It could be average or percentage. Average means that you want, on average, response time to be less than a second. Percentage means that, for instance, you want 80% of your transaction finish within the second. This is corresponds to performance index metrics. If performance index value is less than 1, then you're meeting the goal. If it's more than 1, that will show how far off are you from your performance goal. If you have set up your SLA rules correctly, you can set up alerting rule based on your performance index to notify you of possible performance issues. Detailed view also provides information about how many transactions of the service class finish it within the goal and how many of them misses the goal and by how much. In the upcoming videos, we will have a look into SLA configuration options and how to create your own SLA rule and do performance monitoring on it. Thanks for watching.